Just like Edgardo, a cattle rancher in Argentina, who was born into a family that owned a large farm, Edgardo grew up surrounded by various animals. His parents not only taught him the ins and outs of running a farm and caring for animals, but also instilled in him the values of kindness and compassion towards nature and others. Edgardo learned from his parents that humans must appreciate and respect Mother Nature, who gives life to all living beings. As a result, he never engaged in wasteful practices and treated every animal he encountered with care and kindness. Little did Edgardo know that this upbringing would lead him to one of the most magical experiences of his life. As he grew older and started his own farm, he quickly became friends with locals and other farmers. Known for his kindness and helpful nature, Edgardo stood out among the farm owners in the area. His exceptional care and attention to detail in his farm work earned him the respect of all his colleagues. As Edgardo went about his usual routine on the farm, little did he know that he was about to become part of an extraordinary story that he would recount for years to come. While cleaning his farm tools, Edgardo was suddenly interrupted by an unusual sound. Never one to ignore anything happening on his farm, he immediately stopped what he was doing and listened intently. Though he stood perfectly still, the sound seemed to disappear, leading Edgardo to assume it was just one of his cattle playing around. Returning to his task, Edgardo was startled when the sound returned, louder and more distinct this time. It sounded like a cry of distress, prompting Edgardo to investigate further mindful of the possibility of encountering a wild or feral animal. As he drew closer to the source of the noise, Edgardo was alarmed to find a large condor in evident pain, struggling on the ground. Large birds like condors rarely touch the ground unless hunting, so seeing one in such distress was deeply concerning. Moved by compassion, Edgardo approached the wounded bird cautiously and examined its injured left leg. The condor appeared unable to defend itself, its movement restricted by the injury. Without hesitation, Edgardo hurried to fetch a clean cloth from the shed to tend to the bird's wound. He quickly returned to the condor and gently wiped its bleeding leg, causing the bird to screech weakly and bat its wings in pain. After cleaning the wound, Edgardo wrapped it with a makeshift bandage, hoping to stop the bleeding and prevent infections. As he tended to the bird's wounds, he spoke gently, offering words of encouragement and comfort. He noticed that the bird had stopped struggling and seemed to recognize that he was trying to help. Once the bandaging was complete, Edgardo carefully lifted the heavy bird in a blanket and relocated it to the shed. He made a comfortable nest with blankets and hay for the condor and then fed it and gave it water. Initially wary, the bird soon began to eat and drink eagerly. Feeling pity for the bird, Edgardo decided to provide shelter and care for it as long as needed when his friends came to see the giant bird. Despite their initial fear of the bird's size and sharp beak, his friends were impressed by his actions. While Edgardo's friends were glad he could help, they advised him not to keep the condor for too long. Knowing he would eventually have to release it back into the wild, Edgardo continued to care for the condor until it was fully recovered. After a few days, the condor was able to walk properly, although it was still too weak to fly. With Edgardo's help, the bird was on the road to recovery. The bond between Edgardo and Condorito was undeniable, evident to all who saw them together. Edgardo rejoiced in Condorito's progress, cheering whenever the bird attempted to spread its wings. Surprisingly, the condor grew fond of Edgardo, a human, despite humans being primary hunters of condors, leading to their vulnerable status. Edgardo often spoke to his feathered friend, who became accustomed to his voice. Family and friends began calling him the condor whisperer as the bird recognized his voice. In turn, Edgardo affectionately named the condor Condorito. After weeks of care, Condorito made a full recovery. Edgardo bid farewell to his feathered friend, releasing him back into the wild. Little did Edgardo know, this wouldn't be their last meeting. A month later, Edgardo spotted a large bird in the sky, resembling Condorito. 
He didn't expect the condor to return, believing it would be thousands of miles away. To his surprise, Condorito landed on a tree branch near him. Recognizing Edgardo, the condor flew to him, perching on his arm. Overwhelmed with emotion, Edgardo spoke to Condorito, who nuzzled his beard, showing affection. It was clear the bird loved hearing his voice. Condorito had not only remembered where Edgardo lived, but also returned to bid farewell before embarking on a long journey. After a heartfelt moment, Condorito flew away as Edgardo waved goodbye, cherishing the bond they shared. Condorito continued to visit Edgardo from time to time, and each reunion filled Edgardo with joy. Their friendship, though unusual, defied the laws of nature, serving as a reminder that kindness is never forgotten, even by a bird of prey known to be wary of humans.